kids, it's Miss Jody here. So today I have the story Pom Pom Panda Gets the Grumps. Have you ever had a day where you're just kind of irritable and grumpy and no matter what you do, you just kind of stay that way? Well, I've had those days. And that's what the story is about. So here we go. One morning, Pom Pom got up on the wrong side of the bed and then nothing was right. His blankie, Timmington, couldn't be found anywhere. Her rump, said Pom Pom. His baby brother, Boo Boo, was playing with his favorite toy. Her rump, said Pom Pom. Pom Pom's mom sang silly, sloppy songs all throughout breakfast. His cereal was soggy. There were bits of pulp in his juice. Her rump, said Pom Pom. Then things went from bad to worse. His toothbrush was too scratchy, his washcloth was too freezy, and he couldn't do a thing with his hair. Her rump, said Pom Pom. After all that, it was time to go to school. Outside the sun was too sunny, and all the birds were too noisy. Her rump, said Pom Pom. Have a lovely day, dear, said his mom. Her rump, said Pom Pom. In the playground, everyone was having fun, except Pom Pom. I want to play kick, want to play kickball, asked Buddy. No, huffed Pom Pom. Want to watch ants, asked Rocco. No, grumbled Pom Pom. Would you like to play catch, asked Baxter. No, shouted Pom Pom. Do you want to do jump rope, asked Scout. Go away, yelled Pom Pom. And they did. Aw, look at Pom Pom. Oh. Pom Pom didn't feel like shouting anymore. He felt sad and a bit silly. His friends had only tried to be nice. Oops, said Pom Pom, and off he went to find the others. Sorry, everyone, said Pom Pom. That's okay, said everyone. I know, said Baxter. Let's play tag. I'll be it, said Buddy. Yay, said everyone. Got you, said Buddy. Her rump, said Pom Pom. Then, guys, I miss you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.